In this video, we want to talk about how to use VLOOKUP to automatically pull in the probabilities that we've calculated in previous steps. So what you're going to see me do is use VLOOKUP to create a little table here that's going to look up the value of Windy and return the value either for no or yes, uh, depending on the context. So we're going to use VLOOKUP to just sort of automate how we populate the our sort of naive Bayes calculation table with the pre-calculated probabilities that we've used in a previous step. So VLOOKUP is going to look sort of like this. How do we make VLOOKUP? And the first thing we have to tell it is, OK, what do you want me to look up? Well, we want it to look up the associated value, in this case, the value in A2. So that's the actual thing that we're looking up. Uh, then it says, OK, well, tell me where I can find the table array values uh, that will tell me what to do in that case. So we're going to highlight this table here so it can use the first column to match whether Windy equals true or false. And then the second column will return the associated no probabilities. And the third column will return the associated yes probabilities. After that, we um, tell it which column we want to return. And in this case, we want it to return two uh, because um, that's where the no data is. And we're working on the no side of uh, the no equations at this point. And then the last uh, piece is it'll ask you what type of match you want. And in this case, we want an exact match. We don't want it to use an approximate match or a range match. We want it to match the word true or false perfectly. So we're going to complete this now. You know, like most other things, we probably want to use an absolute reference for the range as that's not really going to change. And we can leave the lookup value relative so that it will automatically adjust as we go down the go down the line. So let's take a look and make sure that it's returning the right thing. And it looks like it's returning the right thing. So for we've pre-calculated that the probability for um, windy equals false, given that we don't play, is 0 0.4. And that's the value that's being pulled in. At this point, you can either uh, double click the sort of lower right corner to populate all of the values. So you can just sort of do that and spot check a few of them to make sure that it's doing what we think it should be doing. And that looks pretty good. So that's essentially how you would do that. You're going to do the same exact thing here, except instead of looking up column two, you're going to look up column three because we're on the yes equation there. So. Uh, I hope that helps with VLOOKUP and have a great day.